everybody this is alessandro welcome back to my channel a few months ago guys if you remember i made a video where i was talking about polish and how not to forget you know what you need to improve clean up polish adjust in your own animation in order to make it really really good and i i, I was talking about some kind of a list uh, of things that you need to remember and so on but at this point i felt like it was really nice maybe taking a small clip all right and, and show you exactly that process and how we can go from having like a checklist and what actually we need to do in animation to really bring polish to a really great quality um, you know, of animation. And so today I have with me a simple clip, actually it's a, a, an extract of a clip done by one of my students. Okay, it's a martial arts clip and everything. It's still in blocking plus. And assuming that, you know, we are okay with the blocking, we're okay with the pose, with the mechanic and everything and so on, we are ready to go to spline now and to go to polish actually, because for me when when I have a quite detailed blocking plus, I'm ready to go spline and polish at the same time, all right? So let's take a look. Uh, we have usually, as you can see, guys, we have a key every two or three frames, stuff like that, right? And so when I go and convert this one from, uh, uh, you know, step mode to spline, before I start actually to adjust, uh, you know, clean up and everything, the arc, the, the graph feather and so on, there is another thing I want to do and check one more time the timing because obviously we try our best when we are in step mode, but obviously we are missing some of the in-between here because we are in step, right? And so the perception that we have is not 100% correct. So bottom line, if I'm going to take a look at this one, and it's almost there, but I feel like there are a few moments that I want to push even more. For example, this section over here, it is a little bit too even, like the spacing is kind of even. Uh, even when it's about to slow down here, again, it's kind of even. And maybe because we follow the reference and everything, but now it's time, I feel like, to really speed things up a little bit more. All right, so what I want now, I want to speed up this middle section over here. And for example, what I'm going to do is to, uh, you know, make those, all of them on twos, right? And I know here I want to kind of stop for a, for a moment. Okay, so this is going to be like the easy in, easy, in, easy out, all right, between this, this moment here. Oops. Right, between this section over here, right? And so that means this part over here, I want to split up very quickly. And so we can make this very short for now. Boom. And it's still, I'm not quite there. All right. I feel like maybe uh, this part here can be three frames, maybe rather than two. All right. Put it down here. And start to take a look one more time. Boom. And same things over here. I feel like it's kind of uh, slow it down a bit too soon. All right. And so on. All right, let me take a look one more time. Boom. All right, and maybe again, maybe we can adjust it a little bit more. And maybe we need to remove here as well of another frame. All right. And make it on three. Boom. Boom. Okay, we are getting there. All right. This one, and again, it's here, we can take the second part again, very easy in, right? And then here, this part, we're going to go really, really, really fast. So, again, maybe we need to speed up this section over here when it's coming down. Right, and maybe again, so we started here. Again, maybe we need to adjust the transition here. Maybe this part over here can be speed up. Okay, in this case, we just have to, I just have to test it a little bit, all right? All right, and maybe, maybe this section over here, removing a one more frame. Right. All right, as you can see, it's still quite dirty, guys, the movement and everything. But I feel like in terms of uh, spacing, we, we are there, all right? And again, if I want to try even more, I can, I can push this part even more. Like here, we can go from three to two, right? 
Let's take a look one more time. Vom. Easy in. Vom. And again. And here we can push it on two. Right, so I think this could be enough for now. All right, just to adjust the spacing. Now, we are done with this one. And as usual, guys, if you follow my tutorial and everything, first of all, actually, there is one thing I want to do. I just want to close this first section over here, right? And again, I want to take a look at the um, at the arc. Okay, that's the thing that is important. So, when I guys want to do polish, the thing I really want you to understand, I'm gonna do one section at a time. In this case, I will start with the COG translation and rotation, then I'm gonna move to the leg first, and then I'm gonna continue with the rest of the chain, the spine, the arms, the neck, the head, and so on, right? So this one obviously is the first one because this one moves everything else, right? So especially when it comes to rotation, this one is affecting the arc of the upper chest, the arms, and everything, right? So this is the first part of the body that I really wanna make sure that I'm gonna uh, to, I'm gonna go to control, right? Let me save as well. All right. And so we're gonna go here, make sure first of all, I wanna take a look at the trajectory. All right. And see if there is anything that we need to kinda adjust, right? Maybe here I wanna have a little bit of, uh, see there is a bit of anticipation here. A little bit of easy in, easy out. And again, here. Right. Let me see if I can get up and down here. And obviously, when I do this one, guys, it's not just in perspective. Sorry, it's not just from the camera view. It is in perspective as well. All right. Now we can adjust it and make it really, really, really nice. All right. Okay, check it one more time. Go, we can go here and, and kill this one. Right? And now what I'm gonna do, again, check the graph editor. Because when it comes the easy in, easy out, a couple of things are important. So usually it's the up and down. Okay, really wanna make sure the up and down is uh, it's there. I wanna feel this acceleration. All right, guys. I wanna feel this one from here to this one. Right, and then again, maybe here the overshoot needs to be a little bit more like this, right? And adjust it this way. I do need to, uh, okay, is it out like this? Feels a lot nicer. Here I don't see any because we adjust the arc. If we did a good job, more or less, it look like we we are we are doing fine. Uh, yeah, maybe here we want to um, adjust this part over here, which we are good. All right, so this is the first part. Now, obviously, we're going to do the, the rotation as well. All right, so it's important that we understand this one. If you go from here, from the perspective, see this, this rotation here, right? Um, and so it's okay if, for example, we drag this one a little bit more, uh, sorry, my bad for choosing the wrong axis. Start with the X one, this one. So you see this one is kind of counterbalancing a little bit, right? Okay, so we can keep it this way, boom. Okay, we can hold it a little bit. All right. So basically, I wanna I wanna offset a little bit the rotation here before we go into um, before we go into the is in is out. All right, and keep it smooth here. On the Y here shouldn't be an issue beside this one. All right. Make sure there is no 
and a weird noise that is not really voluntary, a bit of overshoot is fine like here. And again, same things I was talking here. We wanna, yeah, we wanna make sure about this part here because it started to easy in on a, in the next movement, right? Which is very little for now, all right? Now the other things is that I wanna do it's a little bit the uh, the hip, okay? This one over here. And so I wanna adjust this one because as soon as the weight usually go here, you wanna have your hip go in this direction, right? Okay, so you wanna have your hip pushing here, right? So this is, for example, needs to be adjusted a little bit from, from the blocking, all right? But not not exaggerated, right? Or else we can cause some weird stretch. Right? And same things here, we need to be careful about this rotation. Exactly here is feels like it's a bit too much. Right? Very quickly. And adjust here as well. Okay. Right. Coming down very very little. Right? Very nice and fluid. And again, for now, we are just mostly focusing on this area. We are not taking a look at the um, at the hip. So now we're gonna take a look at this uh, uh, at this one over here. Seems pretty straightforward to me. This how the the way this foot is moving. Okay, I don't see any major things. Uh, maybe a little bit of up and down if we really want it. Um, Depends how much we want to slide it, all right? Nothing too, nothing too crazy. As you can see, very, very minor, to the point that we can even do like just a little bit of easy in, easy out here, right? And things here. See, he he's accelerating quite, quite fast, and we can have a, maybe a little bit of. A, more of an easy in rather than make it snap very quickly, right? And here we're adjusting the way it's, it's kind of stop, right? And maybe here, that's the thing. Now we, the thing that we're gonna start to adjust is that uh, maybe the party slow down is a bit too soft, right? See, maybe here it's a bit too slow, so we need to, boom, adjust it a bit more. Okay, more interesting, and we're going to do the same things on the knee. Right? Very, very nice. And same things here. Another things we can do sometimes. Maybe uh, actually, let me start with the with the you know with the tip and everything. So you know, guys, even polishing the feet is kind of important, right? When you do a movement like this, you wanna have a little bit of motion here, right? You don't wanna keep it this completely locked while the, your leg is moving. Uh, so start to adjust it a little bit like this. Sometimes it could be even like small movement can help a little bit, right? I mean, the foot moving like this, all right? So it doesn't feel completely static. And maybe here we can actually adjust it a, a bit. All right, and this one it should. Oops, this is my bad. See, I made a mistake here. I left it way too soon. Okay, and here, from here, we can continue the, um, the movement. Keep it like this, right? And then here we can just sort of remove it. Yeah, and again, when you when you guys arrive here, adjust it to have a little bit of extra overshoot here. See, very nice. Okay, so the feet doesn't feel uh, completely stuck or frozen on on one rotation axis, right? Let's 
same things over here so it's feel like it's putting properly the the foot uh, here maybe again we want to adjust it a little bit be a little bit more like here and here we're gonna kind of remove it okay same stuff push it make it feel it's going down see here actually this one could move a little bit on this side okay and then kind of remove it here a little bit of, of overshoot and that's all see very little adjustment right all right let me go back to camera guys now there is something for example is bugging me so that's the thing like after you know we have done the hip sorry the cog the hip we've done the leg i usually want to go and adjust the the knee as well all right uh and as you can see here it's kind of bugging me a little bit because it's it feels like it's going inside here and then pushing outside so we, I want to kind of uh, adjust here. It's mostly this, this controller, this key, I think, needs to be removed. Okay, maybe here this needs to be a bit more inside. I just continue to push this one like this. And see, maybe this, maybe this, sometimes this couple of keys just needs to be removed. Um, and it cannot because I feel like it's uh, there's some counter animation issue. So I'm gonna go and, and adjust it here. Could be, yeah, could be this one. Okay, we need to adjust it. Okay, here. And so on. Okay, something like that, more or less. Right. And now, if I want to adjust it a little bit more, uh, really be a perfectionist. Let me save one more time. Let me go here in uh, in animation key, bake the simulation here, and again we're gonna track this thing. Right. I want to make sure here see exactly I can I can go and modify this one okay see I can I can adjust this part over here All right we can adjust this part. Okay, so I can, mo I can modify here. All right. I'm very, very little things we've done. remove it let's go back here okay and this leg is done and I'm gonna do the same with um, with this one over here all right I can see there is some some stuff and I know guys it takes time it's uh, uh, you know it might be annoying sometimes but it, it just needs to be done uh, but bottom line it, it is what it is um, well, I want to see here, for example, it's going like this and then kind of bend it down like this, all right? Uh, and so maybe what I can do, delete all this key here, right? I can just push it, right? And push it here in this angle, adjust this part, right?
Okay, and let's let's go here and take a look in uh, in uh, multiple degrees. Big simulation again. We are getting here, and this part is the the least fun. I know I know that guys, but it still needs to be uh, needs to be done. Okay, so here we can just adjust it very quickly. Okay, but the good things about if you have this kind of rig, you can fix Poppini. Uh, very very uh, quickly right hopefully make it less painful as much as possible right Some, something like that I would say almost done and then you can polish it uh, a bit more right I don't think it needs to be super perfect to the millimeter something like that should should be good to go right okay and then it's done all right at least the lower part obviously until now we were talking about only the lower part and stuff like that um and it's it's gonna it's gonna working all right Other things we want to do is the, the spine. Sorry, for the spine, we have this controller and this one, this two. First of all, I'm going to take a look if there is anything uh, going on here on this controller that we mostly use for the squash and stretch. Not too much. So I'm going to work mostly with uh, with this one now. And and again, uh, again, I know I want to work on the, on the Z uh, because I feel like this is the most, the biggest rotation for this gesture, the side-to-side -side rotation. And so... Again, you see, guys, I want to go and clean up those things here, right? I want to really drag it behind, right? And here a bit more. And again, maybe again, here I need to drag it behind. Keep doing it. And, and having some kind of a overshoot over here. Right? Make sure it looks nice. Again, now the other one is the rotation. It feels like again, it, it, yes, it feels like it's always floaty. Uh, mostly, I feel like because of this of, of this reason over here, because of this line here at the end, right? Okay, so yes, I want to push it a little bit more behind here. Sorry, yeah, here and here. Oops, sorry. Here, pushing it forward, right? Right, and then same things here. Uh, here, a little bit more behind. Again, and we do this one. And make sure there is a nice easy in, easy out here. Right, something like that. As you can see, for the spine, for this specific movement, there is really not much. But there is one other thing I want to do to make the spine always a little bit more organic. All right. So see, in this section here, I'm okay to compress it a little bit here. I want to go down. All right, I want to go down over here. And it's not this one, it's this one, it's the X. Here you go. When it's going up, I want to stretch it. Right? And so again, I'm going to, here I'm going to stay down a little bit more. And here I'm going to overshoot. This one you can even remove it. Right? And then here a bit of bouncing back. Obviously we need to see how much, okay? You need to kind of fill in those things, right, to see. See, now it's, it's, it's feeling a little bit more organic, right? Because that's the thing, like, in general, when you have simple character like these guys, a little advice, your spine tend to feel always, even if you do a nice overlapping and everything, you tend to feel always kind of uh, stiff, right? But if you do a bit of squash and stretch, if you're in the right space, it really helps you to make it more, um, more organic, all right? 
And so let's assume we are done with the spine as well. The other things I want to do very quickly is the uh, head as well. <laughs> Bless me. Uh, all right, guys. So we're going to go here again. And so we're going to basically analyze every every part of it and see when the, when the character is going up, I want to have the head still going down. Boom. I boom, still coming down like this. Still keeping down. And then maybe here slightly up and then pushing down. All right. So we want to have a nice, uh, a nice bounce on the head. And same stuff over here. We're going to go here, adjust it and make sure we, uh, you know, because we need to do a bit of counter animation here. Again, we, we push it here, it's quite clean, seems to be. And yes, maybe this is the part where we need to uh, address it a little bit more, the side to side, the side to side rotation, okay? Uh, but overall, again, the head, if you if we do a good job during the, the blocking plus, as you can see, not much more needs to be, needs to be done, all right? Just maybe avoid a little bit of, of those kind of stuff. And if you guys want to do a little bit of this squash stretch on the head as well, uh, same things, guys. You go on parent. I think in this case, it's going to be this one. Um, you see here, you want to kind of push it down a little bit here. Then here, you can you can just push it up. All right. Right. And same. Boom. All right. It can feel very, very nice. All right. So let's assume now that, again, as you can see, guys, I really go layer by layer. And, uh, you know, now at this moment, when I'm, when I'm doing the animation, I'm kind of confident to the point that, okay, the, um, the legs are done, the COG are done, the spine are done, the arc and everything, squash, stretch, everything I wanted to do. It's very clean. Um, uh, same with the head, the rotation, the arc. Uh, I check every single, uh, you know, uh, axis in the graph editor. I check all the arc for, you know, foot, COG, um, and everything. And the nose as well. And so, okay, what can I do next? Okay, now I want to fix the uh, the arm, right? The trajectory of the arm and everything. And I'm confident at this stage that now that I focus on the arm, I don't have to worry about, oh, the arm is not working, let me readjust this one because I realized it wasn't good, blah, blah, blah. No, I can just focus on the arm, on the shoulder, and stuff like that. And um, and uh, and only this one is going to mentally, it's going to help me to go to be a lot faster, right? So first of all, I just want to go here and for the clavicle. Generally for the clavicle, I don't care about the arc, uh, unless there are very specific cases. Um, and yes, I just want to polish it a little bit more, right? So, for example, I can see here there are some weird transition moment on the arc, on the clavicle, that, and it looks like it's not affecting affecting it too much. So it might even just be an a, a accidental, a, a funny mistake. Sometimes if I see small movement, you see I remove those key, nothing change on the controller. So this simply means that the movement are so small that are, are not basically giving any impact. That you can just delete those keys, right? Regarding the, the, the rotation instead, um, again, we can clean up those, the rotation here. This one is involving this kind of rotation. It shouldn't happen very often on the clavicle. So we can kind of, I think we need just to uh, reduce it a little bit, right? And same things over here. I'm confident we can just take and re reduce this rotation, right? Now, the things that are start to be more important is definitely this one over here. And you see here, it's kind of... Uh, you know, popping a little bit because here you want to keep this one behind and this one we can just move them, all right? Okay, and this one we can move it here. And again. This one we need to push it a little bit more forward. And again, here we can kind of reduce it, all right? Especially because of what, on a very organic and nice movement like this, the clavicle should be um, kind of uh, kind of straightforward. All right, no, again, not too complicated. 
Uh, for example, here I see this problem and it says like, why, why this is happening, right? Uh, okay, this is going down. Again, I want to keep it lower, right? Then push it up here and adjusting it here, right? Maybe this one at this point, we can also start it to move it like this, right? And again, Now the other part I want to take a look is definitely the um, the the arc here, right? Let me save one more time. Again, what I want to do in this case, uh, I want to create a simple locator and make it bigger. Uh, parent it here, and this one we are gonna. Set everything on zero so I automatically get a line. Go here in, in key, big simulation, and we're gonna check the arc one more time. All right, and it seems to me that is quite uh, quite good. All right, I don't see a lot of uh, a lot of mess, but what I can see, I want to see if I can what I, if I can improve the easy in easy out. Okay, so for example, from here, maybe I can hold it back a little bit more, right? And maybe here I want to do this one, right? And then boom, push it here, right? Push it this direction. And here, maybe I can even maybe remove those key and see how does it look like. Okay, obviously, guys, maybe at this point I realize I need to. Um, the the animation with the with the hand right and maybe having a little bit of overshoot actually okay maybe something like this okay and then coming down maybe I need to do it here or maybe I can do it just later, right? Something like that. See, very nice and clean. Let me let me remove this one. And again. Okay, it feels it feels very nice, very organic. And and again, same things. Maybe here I wanna push this uh, the arm behind, see, a little bit. Okay stuff over here and then go this direction okay let me let me remove the curves for a moment maybe again maybe same here instead what I should do is continue to go here so let me try to remove this one say very, very feels very very organic uh, and maybe here we can do it like this. Okay, keep it like this in this direction. It feels nicer. And maybe here for now, I just want to keep it like this. Okay. Just for a lot of simplicity. Okay. There is even that thumb movement at the end. It's very nice, but it's too exaggerated for now. All right. And as you can see, like even though I didn't touch much, but the finger are kind of uh, dragging behind, all right? And so I can very quickly, I can adjust this part here. This one, we don't need it anymore, all right? Uh, so basically here, you can kind of having a contrast here, boom. Push it. Uh, maybe skin this, case. in this case, I guess, translating it doesn't look like a, a great idea uh, all right but we can bend it here all right and so I'm making a really nice nice gesture all right and we have to adjust this thumb is really bugging me all right and let's see we're gonna do it here Yes, this one I think like maybe maybe this one could have been here like a lot 
before and so you can see a bit of movement at the just at the very end all right see it feels very very nice and and quite polished i would say all right guys and and as usual you can do the same for the for the other arms i think now you you can understand the, the methodology and if you want to even do refine things even more you can use this controller to bend a little bit here when you when you're doing this kind of stuff you know, depending on how fast they are you can kind of uh you know push it out this one it seems like it's not working uh yeah just push it a little bit for forward like this just to make it really really nice and and, and bendy okay if you really want to go that extra level of polish all right And if you understand the methodology at this point, you know, you'll do the same for the other arms, basically. And, and you cannot go and repeat. And as you can see, guys, I always do section by section. I, I isolate this small section, then eventually I will do the other one and so on. But you're, you're kind of guessing now where, where, where I'm going. And in this way, it's just a lot more efficient for me. I can just be a lot more organized, really focus on what I'm doing. Uh, again, as you can see, I don't leave to the case a single... Uh, you know value when it comes to the rotation x y z on the translation i check every single controller i check all the arc make sure the space in there it doesn't feel floaty and stuff like that um i really want to make sure I, I give the best when i do the polish but at the same time i want to keep the energy because as you see at the beginning i, I improve the speed and everything and the, the you know the difference if you compare if you look again at the beginning of this tutorial you're gonna see it's quite uh, uh, remarkable all right guys I hope you enjoy as usual and see you next time. Ciao.